Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Whitling's Prototype, episode number 22. <clears throat> In the last episode, I started talking about the benefits and costs of doing it yourself versus using a tool. This is a prototype, so we are going to be using a tool. <clears throat> and actually, what happened, um, I got sidetracked, and I ended up wanting to make uh, nodes that were on the same cube connect. And we got that working just fine. You'll also notice this beautiful space background I have. It is actually from a program I found online called... Oh, huh, where is that? Spacescape. Spacescape, and I'm using version 0.5.1. So it's really good for, you know, just placeholder art. Maybe eventually I'll uh, have an artist make some spacescape stuff for me. Who knows? But for now, I think it adds a lot to just the way the game looks. So let's get cracking. Let's see. Cube 2. <clears throat> So the interesting part right now is that currently, well, we know that cubes, we know that faces that connect on the same cube work right. So I'm actually going to disable these two faces. So I do believe it's back and down. <clears throat> And actually, this testing should allow us to connect this node to this node from the start end. So if this works, I won't have to delete. Um, <clears throat> I won't have to keep relinking everything. So now this should break. Boop. Cool. As expected. So, let's see. <clears throat> we started off in the cube manager. Here we find neighbors. And so here's where we validate all path nodes. We just call validate path nodes on this, and I commented everything out. Which is good, because this is going to need to get changed. So let's take it through one at a time. And you know what? Let's turn off cube 2. So we only have this test here, right? I'm going to go back to our path node, and on trigger enter, I'm going to re-enable that. And I don't need to do linked path node on same cube. Do I? No. No, I do not. Nice. Oof, that is a pretty on trigger enter. <clears throat> and then we'll do an on trigger exit as well. Not sure if this is still necessary. In fact, let's put a print in here. Node exited trigger. Let's put this down here actually. Print node entered trigger. Oops, got an extra. Pal hanging on the end here. <clears throat> so my theory is that node should enter the trigger at some point when we hit play. Two. Oh, that's correct. This one from this cube and this one from this cube. Good, good, good.
So I was thinking about it, and we kind of have a three chain thing here. Oh, that is unplugged. Ah, let me plug in my drawing tool. Oh, ba -da -bum. Yeah, I think we have a three three chain here. Because remember, we have to wait for fixed update to be complete. So, <clears throat> maybe we could say, um, maybe path validation state is a good name. And we would have three states here. We would have waiting for fixed update. Hmm. Where do we call validate all path nodes? Shift F12. So on rotate complete. <clears throat> then by then all of the triggers should have entered each other and added the other path nodes to their possible path node list. Hmm. So both these nodes entered. So I just have to call this at a later time. Waiting for a fixed update. And you know, we only have to do this once, don't we? So maybe we don't even need this eyesore of an enum. Maybe we could just have a bool for um, we're checking to see if the initial path validation, yeah, initial path validated. <clears throat> and then maybe we will need another bool. No, 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 no. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yeah, I think we will. <laughs> I think we will. Which kind of makes me want to go back to this path validation state. Instead of two bools, just have a single variable that lets the state progress. Waiting for fixed update. Ready to validate. And then validated. That seems worth investigating. So where would this enum live becomes the next question. I do believe... Here's the path node list. Maybe it would live in the face. Okay. And I don't think anything else cares about this. So private enum path validation state.
and the default is waiting for fixed update, ready to validate, validated. And we will explicitly say that it starts off as waiting for update, for fixed update. So if validation state is equal to waiting for fixed update, then we know we can set to ready to validate. And then in update, We'll call the function. Oh, <laughs> validation path nodes. Oops. And I do believe we can comment this out. I'm not too sure. Okay, not too loud. Nice, okay, good. So that sound does not get picked up by the machine. That makes me happy. Um, so I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here. Oh, sometimes you have to enter debug mode. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Thunderbutt is being a kitty cat right now. Okay, ready to debug. Oh, whoa, find connecting path node on cube. Oh, right, right. We've tested that. Let's step into here. Oh, that's fine. That's just how many lists are in the face. Oh, and then we've got this commented out. Great. <clears throat> so how are we going to do this? What was this path node validate linked path? How did that work? Hey, come on. One moment, please. I'm sorry, I can't Ooh, concentrate. Come on. Cleaning is so loud. Okay, back to the work. Let's see. So right now, all we have is a previous and a next. And I think we can deal with that. So when two path nodes overlap, On path, no, cube face, I do have a get leaf nodes, don't I? Okay. So I can just loop through all of those. You know, if I'm calling this multiple times, I might as well store them in their own list, right? Uh, 
So here we've got our leaf nodes. Whoa. What don't you like about that? I think you're lying to me. And we can just do a lazy initialization here. If leaf nodes equals null, create it, fill it out, and then return it. Otherwise, just return it. I like that. This is going to be a very silly thing. If leaf nodes equals null, <laughs> leaf nodes equals get leaf nodes. <laughs> Right? <laughs> kind of funny. I could just call this in awake and remove this. I'm going to do that. Now we can get rid of this. And so we have access to each of our leaf nodes. Now each of our leaf nodes is going to have a collection of other path nodes that have overlapped it. Keep typing lead node index, leaf node index. Okay. And if the face is active, then we can say leaf nodes at leaf node index dot validate linked path. Else we'll break the path, and that is. worth investigating as well. What happens in here? Well, linked path node equals null. <clears throat> this is actually not as good. Um, because we have a previous and a next. So depending on the direction, that's the one we want to break. Does the path node know its direction? No, it doesn't. It just knows next and previous. But it also has a tag. OK, so let's just change how break path node works. So this needs to be public, and it's more than one line. Okay, so this is not right. So if it's the start path node, that means we want to break previous. And if it's the end, we want to break next. Otherwise, it is error land. I'm trying to break the path of a non leaf node, a path node. <clears throat> we actually don't need link node on same cube, those are already linked by previous and next. 
Oh, Jesus. I take that back. We are still going to need linked path on node on same cube as the default because what can happen. Um, so we've got a cube here. And we've got our path. And maybe this path here. So it's linked on the same cube. However, if a new cube shows up here with this path, this is going to be a possible path node that overlaps, that's going to override the linked on same cube. Okay, so we will need that. Good to know. So let's just keep this. This is sane. Linked path node on same cube. That's going to need to stay. And I'm doing a lot of compare tags here. Remember that compare tags is comparing two strings to each other, and that's quite bad. Let's call that bad. <laughs> so I'll have start, end, and other. Other's really bad. Not a great name. Let's say by default all of them are none. No node type. And then in awake. Let's use my awake. And we can cut this. No type starts. And now we can just compare an enum, which is a simple integer compare. If it's start, previous is nothing. And in theory, this should never we should never try to break the path of a non-leaf node. So it's good to still keep the error in here. I do believe that there are other places. Yep, here. And here. Oh, node type. Get node type. Let's do a control shift F or O. Oh. Start path node. Oh! That's fine, that's fine. These are none of strings. That's fine. Aha! I knew there was one other spot. Overlapped dot node type.
Oh no, this is end. We're going to need to publicize this node type enum. It's always a good idea to start stuff as private and only promote it to public if you really need to. In this case, it seems like a wise idea. Oh, geez, that was not the right one. <laughs> Wrong class completely. And let's see. Is that in cube? That was in whittling movement, actually. Yes. Okay. I'm tempted to sort of break this into smaller conditions. I think we can leave this for now. I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> What's our time looking like? Okay. Hmm. So I've kind of lost my place. I was trying to touch too many things at once. Here we would not actually validate the path, all face path nodes. We would let the faces take care of it themselves with this state. And then in update, we call this. And so that tries to validate linked path for each of these nodes. This might be redundant, so I'm not sure. Let's put an F12. Do a print here. And uh, let's do a debug log warning. This function is not redundant. I don't need that in the for loop. Oh, hey. So anytime we're setting linked here, what is link nodes doing? This is where the magic is going to happen. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Set next B. Oh, that is very nice. I like that a lot. I hope it works. <laughs> Let's give it a test a Rooney. See what's going on here. Okay, as I suspected, let's debug this guy. I want to start in cube face update. Breakpoint is still there, that's good. Stepping in. There are five path nodes, that's cool. 
one leaf node. Zero. Well, that's obviously bad. Let's shift F11 and step back. Who is this? Start path node. We've got two ends here. What about our begin cube? Start path node. Oh, this is not a start path node. Ooh. Let's also put a breakpoint in the cube manager. Hopefully this all gets done first. Oh, this isn't a start. Ooh, why is this in a start? Well, it does happen first. That's good. This is a half curve down face. It still says we have zero leaf nodes. But why? Okay. I feel like this is pretty straightforward. What's going on here? I'll step into it. We can get rid of this other start one now that we've confirmed. Oh, we already did. Let's step into this. Leaf nodes is null. Half node list is zero. Where do we set this path node list up? Here! <laughs> okay. Classical mistake. Order of operations, I swear. Cube two, what do you got for me? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's definitely something wrong. On begin rotate, we need to. We can get rid of all of this. Feels good. Activate and break all paths. Current face. <sighs> A 
Okay, so this needs to be get next. Oh! Face traverse direction. Who owns that? That seems fair. Clear possible node list. I don't think we need this anymore. Let's double check. Warnings. Cool. So get next. This is a little bit tricky. This is in the face. I want to be going through the leaf nodes, right? Ooh. Okay. Maybe I could just make another version of get next that takes in the node type. So here we're trying to break all of the paths. I think we can just put this into path, right? We don't need to do all this silliness. Let's break path to you. Sure. Hey. Okay, yeah. Uh, but we are going to need to get the next one, aren't we? So I'm just spinning the one. I'm only breaking the faces, breaking the paths on the six faces of this cube that is spinning. So I also want to say, pay nodes on this face. Whoever you're connected to, I want this guy to break first, and then you break as well. Hmm, let's just put that logic in here, right? This this direction. Dang it. Well, I know if it's a start or an end, then I know what direction I'm trying to break it in.
So if it's start, we're going to return previous. Return next. Leave path node without a face traverse direction. Jeez, this is tricky. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing a break path. Oh, right. I think we can get rid of this whole thing. Linked does not exist, sure. You might also want to clear. Oh, oh, warnings, that's fine. Okay, that worked. Break. Trying to break the path, the non leaf path node. Who calls that? Considering, there we go. <clears throat> sure, sure. Okay. You face break back. Start and end. Type equals none. Center node. What the what? Oh, path node list ruffle. Leaf nodes. Mistakes. Ed? Do I have something that will just let me test Whitling spawning quickly? Maybe in the cube manager. Where does that live? Cube manager. Should have done this a long time ago. Kick you down. Code space. Yeah. 
and the position is going to be start node rotation. We could probably need to calculate. Oh no. Well, let's make that a transform. That would be start node dot position. And then we shall linkity link. Let's begin queue start node. Boom. Prefab. Whitling. Cool. That's exciting. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Probably broke because I spun it. Yeah, I need to make a note of that. Not to do. Disable Q rotations if Whitling is walking on Q. We're getting close, but I'm kind of tempted to go over an hour. Because I think almost all of the rest of our code is valid. Let's duplicate you and move you up. So now we have three matching. But one of them is off. Nice. That's the only way it will work. Um, okay, let's connect perpendicular paths. So up. Straight, right, no, up, right, down, and left. Oh. This would be crazy. Oh, there we go. Requested feature is not implemented. Death? Yes, death. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of errors. Get point extended from face. There's nothing wrong with this. Lots of matches found. What do you got for me, buddy? <laughs> and he should die here. 
centipede going here. That looks pretty good. Spellbinding. Okay. <clears throat> do we call it here or do we take it to the end? Interesting. That shouldn't be working. What happens if I spin it? Mm hmm. Well, we did get this warning here. What are you going to do, buddy? whole world is watching. You're going to go. <gasps> the spin worked? How? How did the spin work? Um, you know what, buddy? It's time. It's time to speed up our testing. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, I need to go back. There's one more thing I need to check. In our cube manager. Now, maybe it's cube core. Where we are finding, I think this is it. Set next, set next. So I don't think this is what we want to do. Link node on same cube. I think that's in the path node. Let's 
set next. Let's push it to the left. Walk along the races here. This will be straight, and then on down, give it an L. And then on back, let's give it a straight. 90 degrees. So I should come up here. <laughs> Such a sad sound. Uh, no reference exception with the movement. That shouldn't happen. Let's take a look at our L face. Oh, none of these are linked. What? So starts next is center. Center's previous is start. Center end is next. Ends previous is center. And that's this cube here, so we'll update the faces. Booyakasha! That's it. That is it for today. We got it working. We didn't have to do this ridiculously crazy plan. Where did I make that plan? Up here. Yeah, this was insane. So luckily, um, by leveraging the way the engine works and understanding the order of operations, that Unity gives to us, we were indeed able to get really complex, complex path facing working. Cool. Um. Interesting. So now he should die walking this way. <sighs> Feels good, man. Well, that is it for today. I'm going to continue testing. I'm sure I'll find some more bugs. Uh, but with that done, I would actually say that we've reached a milestone. We have gotten our pathing working. 
Now, we don't have any cool cubes yet, but that comes in the design phase. We're still prototyping. So, next on the list, we're starting camera work. I hope you all had a good day, and good luck on your projects.